So Canadian money is pouring into Sanford and Harnett County, specifically like Sanford, Lillington, Broadway, Cameron, Spring Lake. Uh, Canadian money is pouring in and buying single family residences at a very fast rate. Let me show you what I mean. So the crazy thing is about six months ago, if you were looking for rentals in our area, it was tough sledding. I mean, you really couldn't find a whole lot of rentals on the market, period. Um, maybe two or three in all of Sanford, you know, at any given time. And now we've got, you know, 62 results here in this little area, which I consider kind of our stomping grounds. This is the, the area that we market to most heavily. And here's something that, you know, is even more interesting. Out of these 62 rentals, if I put a keyword in here, Tricon, and I'll tell you who that is here in a minute, um, Tricon, uh, then that takes it down from 62 to 21. So over 30% of the market share of rentals on the market right now, not even counting the, the ones that were on the market and are currently rented, are owned by a Tricon residential, right? So Tricon residential. Um, so I started doing some digging because one of my recent listings in Lexington Plantation down in Cameron, beautiful house. Um, we sold it for, uh, you know, a prior military family that was moving back out of state, um, put it on the market. And the first offer we got sight unseen before any showings happened was a full cash, full price offer from Tricon Residential. Um, and, you know, they sent me a, a um, proof of fund statement with over $100 million in it. Uh, and so it started me doing some research and digging into who are these people? Who are they? And, and why are they so interested in our area? Why are they so confident in our market? And that is the question that I really want to help answer. And can we use that information to make decisions ourselves as we go through sort of turbulent and uncertain times with the rising interest rates and where's the market headed and all of these things, right? So right here, mostly in Southern Sanford, they really haven't come up here yet. And I think that's more an inventory problem than a matter of they don't wanna be here. There just isn't a whole lot of homes for sale up here and, and definitely not ones that I feel like fit into their target uh, market because I feel like they are purchasing homes uh, very similar to one another, very uh, much newer homes, right? That uh, probably require less maintenance and um, you know less uh, of the bigger maintenance items, it looks like. So uh, Tricon Residential, I did a little bit of digging on who they were um, and they are a Canadian holding company, Canadian real estate holding company, uh, rental housing company is what they say, that owns over 41,000 single family and multifamily rentals across the United States and Canada. They are an over $8 billion company. Um, to give you some uh, idea on their size, their CEO's salary last year was over $5 million. They're a really big company based out of Canada, and they are pouring money into our area. So why is that, right? Why is this Canadian company over you know, 41,000 homes pouring money into Sanford, pouring money into our area, investing in properties in our area? And why are they doing it at a time when it seems like it's been the, the least favorable in terms of buying conditions uh, in a long time, right? In over two years, right? There was a two year window where prices were just going up dramatically. Show-ins were through the roof. Interest rates were low. And as soon as the interest rates are, are, have risen to a point where things are starting to slow down across our area, they're starting to buy and gain market share. You know, and it reminds me of a quote uh, from Warren Buffett that when other people are greedy, be, fear be fearful, and when other people are fearful, be greedy, right? That they're taking advantage right now of these softer market conditions on the buying side of the transaction uh, and getting properties under contract at the asking price, right? Um, and a lot of times agents right now are, you know, good agents are pricing things a little bit lower than they would have previously to make sure that their listings still get enough interest and demand and go under contract within the first week, you know, because that's what sellers expect uh, given the last two years of market conditions. So Tricon's taking advantage and putting a lot of homes under contract in our area. And you got to ask yourself why, right? Like why? Uh, are they doing that if I'm worried that the market's going to go down, right? I, I can assure you that, you know, a company with 41,000 homes, over $8 billion in assets under management has some smart people working there, right? That's a given. We know that. Um, so 
it, it's my understanding and my belief that when you know making decisions, you can leverage other people's research, you can leverage other people's expertise. You don't have to figure it all out on your own. And what I gain from this is that they're confident that this short, this turbulence that we're experiencing right now in the market, this softening of the market is temporary, right? That interest rates are rising and demand is cooling, but that that's gonna turn around because I don't think that they're buying seemingly hundreds of homes in our area um, under the anticipation that values are gonna go down. That would not be a smart way to use their shareholders' money to put that $8 billion into play to invest in assets that they think are going to depreciate and go down in value. They're putting money into our area and buying assets in our area, homes in our area, because they believe that prices are going to continue to appreciate, even though we're dealing with higher interest rates, even though we're dealing with market conditions that are changing, that this is temporary. And I believe that too. You know, I think that the Fed, uh, the Federal Reserve is, you know, manipulating interest rates to control the economy. That is their job, that the housing market was growing at an unsustainable rate for the last two years and something needed to be done to slow it down a little bit. They are trying to raise interest rates to a point where they can bring the market in for a soft landing rather than a crash, right, rather than a major correction. Um, but you know, there aren't many people that wouldn't agree that the market did need to get back to a little bit more of a balanced state, right? We've been a extreme seller's market for, uh, you know, a considerable period of time and we needed to turn that around. So they raise interest rates and they continue to raise interest rates until we get back to a little bit more of a balanced market. And it's my belief, it's my prediction, right? Like my uh, understanding that once we get there, once we get to a point where the market's a little bit more balanced, the Fed has gotten the housing market and the economy in general back to a place where they want it to be, the interest rates are gonna come back down again. And what's gonna happen when they come back down again is I think we're gonna enter another period where it's a little bit frenzied, where it's a little bit hectic and there's a lot more offers on properties because there's a lot of buyers right now who are either just priced out of the market or they're uncertain. And when they're uncertain, they just choose not to move. They just choose not to do anything. I'm just gonna wait and see what the market does. And those people who are staring down, you know, six and a half, six point seven five, seven percent interest rates, when the market gets back to that balanced state and the interest rates come back down to four and a half percent, they're gonna jump back into the market and they're gonna jump back in droves back into the market and they're all gonna be going after the same properties again and property values are gonna rise again. And companies like Tricon Residential know this, they understand this and they're making investments in our area because they know that appreciation is still going to come. So what can you learn from this, right? What can we take from this? That if you're uncertain right now about buying because of the interest rates, this is a talk path I've heard a lot um, you know, in terms of how to talk with our clients right now on, on an industry expert level is marry the house and date the rate, right? Don't get too tied up on the interest rate if you believe the, the sense and, and you feel like interest rates are not gonna stay in the sixes and sevens forever, that they're not even gonna stay there that long, that within the next two or three years, you're going to be able to refinance. For that you know, reason, a lot of my buyers, I'm encouraging them to talk to their lenders about things like adjustable rate mortgages and to, to make decisions like not paying down you know, the, the interest rate on the loan. Don't buy the points, don't pay it down if you're just gonna refinance in two or three years because that hardly ever makes sense. Um, you know, you save that cash, put it away to, to, to be there as a cushion for that higher mortgage payment that you're going to have for the next year or two um, or three uh, but then just have it in your game plan that you're going to refinance when interest rates come back down. You can take advantage right now of softer buying conditions, right? Getting houses under, under contract at asking price or below asking price. Building right now, new construction communities are throwing things at buyers trying to get their attention. Um, you know, 20,000 plus dollars in incentives for the last uh, client I put under contract in new construction. $10,000 in closing costs that the builders throwing at them because they're competing with other builders for that buyer's attention in a market environment where the buyer pool is shrinking because people are uncertain. 
So you can take advantage of that if you are a smart buyer with a smart agent who's advising you in a smart way. Um, and you can get properties right now at a deal, even though your interest rate is going to be high and your payment's gonna be higher than you want. Don't buy the points. Do an adjustable rate mortgage if you can, because that gives you a lower interest rate up front for the first two years or three years or five years, however long you can lock that in for. And then just know that I'm not worried about the fact that my interest rate could go up, you know, or my payment could change five years from now at the end of my lock period, because it's in my plan that I'm going to refinance within three years anyway. Right. So um, that is, you know, in summary, what I think we can take away from all this Canadian money flowing into our market, that they have confidence in our market. They think our market is going to appreciate. They think the interest rate environment that we're dealing with right now is temporary and they are making big moves to invest big money here because they have a lot of confidence in Sanford and the surrounding areas. So. I think as a real estate agent and a real estate team leader that the biggest value we can provide to our clients is certainty, right? It is the uncertainty, the what do I do, the how's the market gonna uh, affect me, should I buy, should I sell, that keeps people from moving and it causes people to make bad decisions. We're gonna give you the data, the insight, and the experience to make good decisions on one of the biggest investments of your you know, invest in, investment career or your life, which is your home. So if you need that certainty, you give us a call, 919-750-0914. I'm Walter Susevich, Sanford Surrounded, who helps you with your home matters.